kualika katika hafla za leo na katika sherehe za leo kwa kile ambacho kila mmoja wetu anakielewa vizuri sana kwamba we are celebrating the 20th anniversary or memorial of the servant of God Morris Michael Cardinal Tunga ambaye yuko katika safari ya kuweza kupata urithi aliyoupenda aliyoufanyia kazi na aliyotufundisha kuupenda na kufanyia kazi why it is an important day is because in a way or the other most of us have been touched by his life either through the sacrament of confirmation the sacrament of ordination and also the life that he shared with us kwa hivyo tuko hapa kwa mambo matatu ambayo ni ya maana sana na ya heaven jabola tatu la heaven ndilo limetuleta hapa la kwanza ni kuzaliwa la pili ni kutoka kwenye dunia hii na la tatu ni hilo la heaven kwamba tuweze kumwambia huyu aliyetuongoza ili yale ambayo tunao yatafuta sisi kama wa Kristo tuweze kulipata hasa kwa kujiandaa kwema kwa maisha yetu tuweze kutamani na kuweza kutenda yale ambayo yanalingana na hayo ambayo tunamtakia yeye hivyo basi nitawalika tuweze kuchukua nafasi nyingine ya kumuombea kama vile tumekuwa tukiomba tumekuwa na sala maalum tumefanya ibada maalum na leo ni nafasi nyingine tumepata ya kuweza kumuombea na kuomba safari hii lakini vile vile kujiombea sisi ambao tuko katika safari hii kwa hivyo mjisikie nyumbani katika parokia hii kwa niamba ya uh, the whole community of uh, Queen of Apostles Waraka Parish our leaders the priests who are working here mjisikie nyumbani na ili tuweze ku, ku, uh, kushika sherehe za leo katika furaha mioyoni mwetu karibuni sana Ningependa sasa kumwalika his grace ili aweze kutuongoza katika ibada hii takatifu ya misa nikiomba kwamba wote tusimame So in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and peace be to you all So my brothers and sisters on this wonderful occasion that we commemorate the death the 20th anniversary of the death of our cardinal Maurice Cardinal Tunga it has been united in spirit in soul and in mind in thanking God for him and also in asking for forgiveness of our sins let us pray that the process that is in place the process of canonization will be even more effective and it will touch our lives so that we may walk on the the path of holiness the path he chose to go i confess to almighty god in my thoughts and in my words in what I've done and what I failed to do through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask great Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, we may be to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the soul of your departed servant, Morris Cardinal Tunga, to whom you committed the care of your family, may with the manifold fruit of his labors enter into the eternal gladness of his Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be an affliction, and they are going from us to be their destruction, but they are at peace. For though in the sight of men they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and, and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his elect. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. that yearns for running stream, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. When can I enter and appear before the face of God? My soul is lasting for God, the living God. For I would go to the place of your wondrous tent, all the way to the house of God. Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng keeping 
joyful festival. My soul is lasting for God, the living God. O oh, send forth your light and your truth, they will guide me on. They will bring me your holy mountain to the place where you dwell. My soul is lasting for God. The on the harp, O oh God, my God. My soul is for God, the living God. Why are you cast down, my soul? again, my serving presence and my God. My soul is lasting for from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord of the dead, and of the living. We shall all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So, each of us shall give account of himself to God. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the gospel acclamation.
blessed of my father, says the Lord. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. According to Matthew, to came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the heart. Blessed are those who hunger, and thus for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for the earth is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men live by you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you, Falsely on my account, rejoice and be glad, for you are reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good. And the other time. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati. So, brothers and sisters, today we gather here to commemorate a great 
man of our time, Michael Morris Cardinal Tunga, a man of great faith. But before I comment on the scripture reading of today, allow me to let three questions arise. One, what do we want to remember today about my, uh, my comrades Kanotunga? Second, what reasons do we put forward for giving such respect? People have been dying, but we don't give a respect like this one. And that, what are we here for? First of all, let me share with you some of my personal experience with the Cardinal Otunga. Now, this is between us now. Don't go out and talk about it. Eh? We agree on that. Eh? Otherwise, I will not share with you. First, uh, Cardinal Michael Morris Otunga was a man of courage. He had no fear of anybody. And this is well established by one day. There was a lot of talk in the family life uh, about using the cordons. Everywhere in the government, you know, it was like when we had COVID, if one didn't have a mask, it was kind of a crime. So that time, using the cordon was the talk of the day. So what the Colonel took at what did he do? Him and the late Archbishop Manasseh Scuria of ACK with the well, uh, my family life team. I went and bought all the condoms in the pharmacy. And uh, they went to Uhuru Park and burnt them. And burnt them. Which, of course, was even against the government. They, and Kanotunga was very, very strong on that in protection of the family. When I, see that, when I say that, I'm sure I have some witnesses here because I see Makondawa there and she can agree with me. That happened. So, Kanotunga was a man who loved the family, family life, and would do anything, everything possible to protect the family. Kano Tunga had a great love for priests. For some of us that he ordained, he had great love for us. In every, every priest celebrated anniversary, he would give a gift. He would light a card and put a token inside of 50 shillings and he sent to the priest. Every anniversary, he would do that, of every priest. So, he had great love for priests. And then, every end of the month, we were getting, uh, again, this is between us now, eh, as our allowance. Eh? This is what we were getting allowance, as priests those days, 900 shillings. I don't know how many priests you are, how much you are getting now, you priest. Eh? By that time, we used to get 900. And Otunga, Karno Otunga was making sure that uh, we receive that. So, what I'm saying is that Karno Otunga had that love of priests, a very humble man that we know. And in my case, what I can remember is in 19, 
73, when he was created cardinal. He was everywhere in the media, in the whole country. And uh, during that time, that year, again, don't tell anybody, that, don't tell anybody now, eh? I was a student here. I was in Form 3 here. So that year, 1973, just a after he became a cardinal, he visited my home parish for confirmation, a kino parish. And the a junior seminarian, just the, I don't know whether those, whether those who are serving here are junior seminarians, but a junior seminarian, I was told to go and, uh, and be an altar boy. So I went, I served the mass, and then he looked at me and said, hey, young man, where are you? I told him, no, I'm a student in the junior seminary. Okay, when I'm going, I'll give you a lift. So, when I, the time came to come back, he told me, get in the car. Get there, be, sit behind. So, I was shaking, of course. Eh? This is the cardinal. Eh? It's the first cardinal, and we have never had a cardinal. So we came, he gave me a lift, and uh, we used to Modaiga. I thought he would drop me there to take a matter to come this way. But then he came, he came this way. I thought he's coming to see the lecture, maybe to ask why I was allowed to go out. But we came, it was in the evening. I remember it was even. You know, these are things that you cannot forget. We came just the Near the church, in the, outside the church, the other students were going for mass. So he dropped me there, he came out of the car, and he went back. So he was bringing it to the seminary. And then the other the, the, the students were looking at me. And then, and then I was saying, ah, Don't worry, I'm the one now. <laughs> and, uh, and I was feeling myself, eh? because they were all looking forward to see him. Eh? But I not only see him, but I was in the car. Not only in the car, but also I was a member at the back, the back seat. So he had uh, that kind of, uh, of humility. He was driving a very, very simple car. I think it was 204. Lawrence might, know that, might remember the car, 204. A Pujot. And he was driving himself. And when I saw our second cardinal driving himself, I said, cardinals normally drive themselves. <laughs> so that was him. The other experience I had of Cardinal Tunga was uh, when I was a senior seminarian, we had a rabbi in Kagwe. I was in Gidungori for pastoral work. And then he was there in Kagwe for Harambe. Then Arabe went up to around seven. And then we had to come back, we had to come to Gidongoli, and him, he has to come to Nairobi. Again, he was driving himself. Uh, he reached the tarmac of Gidongoli, Kiambu, Jackson going to Kagwe, at around 7.30. He was ahead of us. We thought he had gone. So when he reached the junction, he stopped there. He came out of the car, he, start, he started re reciting the rosary. So when we came, we found him reciting the rosary. And he asked us, are you safe? I have been praying for you. We told him, no, we are safe. Then he went, and then we went, went to the parish. You know, that, 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 uh, that shocked me. So what I'm saying is a very, very humble a uh, person. And I'm sure the work, the life was living here. He's o he also interceding for us there upstairs. And that's why it's important that uh, we continue to pray for his uh, beatification because for sure he's a holy man, he's a saint. 
Now, that's not the gospel. Then come back to, to, the, to the scripture. So, brothers and sisters, we have taken our first reading for the book of wisdom. Instead of book, book of wisdom, I'd like to comment on the book of Silak, which has the same, same message, chapter 44, verses 10 to 15. The author of the book praises the godly man, each in his own time, who lived generously, and whose good works had not been forgotten. The other emphasis emphasizes that such men rest in peace and respect, while their names live on for all generations. Father, he explains that people usually proclaim their wisdom and celebrate their lives. So, brothers and sisters, reflecting on how our faith has grown and spread like mustard seed through the hard work of our ancestors in faith, like Michael Morris Cardinal Tunga, we can proudly appreciate the gift of his eminence, Cardinal Otunga, and honor him, honor him as a courageous son of our church who will never fade in our memory. His life was an extraordinary journey from beginning to end with such great effect both for our Lock Church and in Faso Church. So let us today thank God for this great hero as we celebrate his life today. In the second reading, again, I would like to take uh, Romans 12 verses 3 to, to 13. That says that each of us will be judged by the standard of faith God has given him or her. Our gifts differ according to the grace given to us. Some have prophecy, some faith, some administration, some teaching, and others the gift of arms giving. Whatever your gift, do it cheerfully. Do not give up if trials come, because His Eminence Cardinal Tunga did not give up. Keep on praying. Make hospital, hospitality your special care. And here, St. Paul insists on a variety of God's gift and also on the meaning and limitations of these personal charisms, which must be coordinated with one another. In leaders like His Eminence, Michael Morris Cardinal Tunga, it is possible to see signs of natural faith that principally radiates and gifts of administration, talent, and leadership. Very good, he was a very good administrator. I say that because I was in uh, his team of administration as his same as his Fokins director and the pastoral coordinator at that time. The ultimate symbol of dignity, of unwavering dedication to the growth of faith, a leader of unity, peace, and reconciliation. A man who was able to unite the diocese, the people. And if I say that this, the priests who are here, they will agree with me that the unity of the priest we have in this diocese, the genesis 
is Cardinal Morris Otunga. He was very, very much together with the priest. And uh, always he was there in our monthly meetings without failing. So it was the end of unity, peace, and uh, reconciliation. And then in today's gospel, from the gospel of Matthew, the Beatitudes, Jesus is giving a wide teaching on our attitudes. This gospel passage is both consoling and strengthening because it offers the poor the kingdom of God and assures the mourning and suffering people that they will be comforted. When he says, blessed are the poor, for they will inherit the kingdom of heaven, he means not only material poverty, but also spiritual poverty, which is the worst poverty. The worst poverty is a spiritual poverty. A wealthy man can be called a poor man if he has no obsession towards his wealth. In short, attitude of attachment and detachment that one has towards his wealth determines whether he is poor or not. Indeed, Maurice Maikwani Otunga was detached. Detached. And that's shown even uh, in his way of life. In Matthew, Matthew 6, verse 21, puts, where your treasure is, there your heart also will be. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, our call is not to search something, something on, the, on this earth, but to search for the kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven, and whatever we have is to, to bring us closer to God. The kingdom of God is described by love, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, and where there are these things, there comes the kingdom of heaven. It means that our family, our community, and our society must be filled with love, peace, and joy because that is the kingdom of God. In Matthew 6, again, that three says, Seek the kingdom of Christ and it is righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. You have nothing to lose. And therefore, dear, brother, dear friends, to seek the kingdom of God is to love one another and to live in peace and be filled with the joy in Jesus Christ. For if we are heard from our second leading, if we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. Romans 14, verse 8. We are therefore humbled today, brethren, as we remember and celebrate Michael Morris Cardinal Otunga, our hero in faith, who had the spirit of humanity and oneness to serve all. So when uh, we said codoms must be banned, it's not only for Catholics, but for all. But the love of humanity, the love of God, will grow stronger in us day by day and becoming new because the love of God endures forever. As we are joined together, let the spirit of the day shown by God live in us and we move in it. 
Now may the grace and mercy of God be with the all and the love of God flow in each and every person in all corners of our local and in Faisal's church. So we continue praying and leaving that example of Morris, Michael Morris Kanotunga in our lives and look forward for the day when the universal church will be de beatified. And we know that now we have somebody there upstairs who knows, who understands us, who will be interceding for us. God is good. And all the time. In a spirit of prayer and thanksgiving to the Lord who has spoken to us through his word and inspiring homily given and delivered to us by his lordship, let us pause for a moment. And let us be upstanding for the prayers of the faithful. Those who are prepared, kindly move forward. Let us in faith call upon God, the Almighty Father, who raised Christ, his Son, from the dead, as we pray for the salvation of the living and the dead. Sala Yakanisa. E mungu, kwa wema hai na mateule, Umiatarisha makao yako ya milele kwa ajili ya adama yako. Uzidishe katika kanisa lako neema ulio lijalia ili waamini wako waongezeke daima. Bariki viongozi wote wa kanisa ili katika ushahidi wao ulimwengu uwekwe wafu kadri ya mapenzi yako. E baba mwenyezi, jalia waamini wote baraka ya wito wa kitume tunaposhuhudia mwito wa sinodi ya umoja na ushirikiano tujalie ujasiri katika roho wako ili tufuate mifano bora ya watakatifu wako turi shuhudia upendo wako mkuu e bwana utusikie sala kwa ajili ya kuombea nchi e mungu muumba wa vitu vyote umempa mwanadamu amri ya kufanya kazi tunakuomba utujalie ili kwa mfano na ulinzi wa mtakatifu Yosefu Tufanye kazi unayo amuru na kupata tunzo unazo ahidi. Tunakuomba ujalie viongozi wote wa serikali, heshima na kutunza nchi na wot, watu wote bila ubaguzi wala ubinafsi. Wajalie huruma na upendo katika uongozi wao. E Bwana Jalia viongozi wote maamuzi yanayoandamana na mapenzi yako. Tuwaombea wananchi wote uzalendo na umoja. E Bwana utusikie. Sala kwa ajili ya familia. 
E Mungu Mwenyezi mwenye upendo na huruma tuangazie tuwe tuweze kukutambua familia zetu kama kanisa ndogo na shule ya imani upendo ukarimu ukweli uwazi na uwajibikaji tunazuombea familia zetu ziwe bustani bora na salama za kuchipusha na kulea miito ya ndoa utawa na upadri tunawaombea vijana na watoto wetu uchaji ili wawe na bidii ya kujitunza kwa kushika amri zako na kuishi fadhila za kiinjili baba wa huruma tunawakabidhi familia zenye msukosuko na mafarakano ya ulevi ubinafsi ili kwa hisani yako uwape neema mwanga na nguvu za kuanza maisha mapya yenye amani na upatanisho tunaomba toba na msamaha kwa ukatili manyanyaso na hata mauaji katika familia zetu na uwaponye wote waliojeruhiwa kwa maneno matendo na makwazo ya aina zote tunakuomba uwe kitulizo na faraja kwa maisha ya familia jalia familia zote kuiga mfano bora wa familia takatifu ya Yesu Maria na Yosefu Bwana utusikie prayer for the beatification process our heavenly father through your son Jesus Christ and through the intercession of our blessed mother Mary and the intercession of servant of God Maurice Michael Cardinal Lotunga we come before you thanking you for the gift of our petitioner emeritus cardinal John Njue we thank you for the gift of his grace Philip Anyolo we thank you for the gift of his lordship David Kamau We thank you for the gift of all the bishops, all the priests, all the consecrated men and women, and all the lay people who have been helping us up to where it has reached. We thank you for the family. We thank you for the beatification committee chaired by Father Peter Kaigwa. We thank you for everybody who has come today to celebrate with us the 20th anniversary of your of our servant of God Maurice Michael Cardinal Otunga heavenly father we ask you humbly that you may continue guiding us in this process and through the intercession of servant of God that we may go through this process and in the end we may be able to get a saint of our own and for the whole world lord hear us Let's pray for special needs. Dear Lord our Father, through the intercession of uh, the servant of God Cardinal Otunga, we bring special needs especially in our country before you. We pray for the sick in hospitals and in homes, those who may not even have someone to visit them, that you may strengthen them, Lord, strengthen them, Lord, and let them be able uh, to go through their suffering with courage uniting their suffering to your cross we ask especially that they may have solace in knowing that you are with them father we want to ask special graces for our country and families and everybody who is going through economic struggles we bring before you those who are lacking and short of special of basic needs we ask that you open the hearts of those who have more to be able to share with those who have less we bring before you the youth and the young people especially in the current society who are going through a lot of turbulences with ideologies left and right we ask for enlightenment for those who are adults to be able to guide the youth to find the straight path and live the life according to the truth 
and for those of us who are grown up that we may also adhere to the truth and spread the truth. Father, we ask for vocations in the church. We ask for a greater faith among us so that like the cardinal, we may be courageous and soldier on believing the truth that you have taught the church. Wele Papa, Omulongi, Wele Papa, Omulindi, Wele Papa, Hakaba. Kufusaba hulio uli rechisala chefe, Lord hear us. Let us turn to the last page of leaflets for the prayer for the beatification of the servant of God, Maurice Michael Kano Otunga. We granted you as servant Maurice Michael Cardinal Otunga the grace to be an exemplary pastor at the service of the church, making him a symbol of humanity and love. While denying and discussing everything, grant we beseech thee that we may also learn to respond faithfully to the demands of the Christian Caucasian, converting all moments and discussion of the life which is of the loving Jesus, neighbors of the Jesus Christ, the serving of the kingdom of God in humanity. We humbly request you to grant your servant, and not a share in the glory of heaven, which is promised to those who have served you. The Lord's intercession bless the child, our country, our families and children, and grant us the favors we humbly request, especially. Through Christ our Lord. May the prayer of those who cry to you benefit the souls of your servants, O Lord. Free them, we pray, from all their sins and make them share us in your redemption. Through Christ our Lord. wakati wa sadaka na matoleo ya kanisa kwa ya mtuongoze kwa nyimbo za sadaka
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable with God the Almighty Father. We have beseech boundless mercy, Lord, that this sacrifice which you are departed summoned, more is Michael, while in the body offered to you majestly for the salvation of the faith, or the faithful, may now bring him to your pardon through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of death may be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, as an eternal dwelling is made ready, for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels and with the thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ and by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and you make them holy and you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name and therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to the disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, and uh, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our consideration, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Philip, our Bishop, the order of bishops and the other clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen gracious to the prayer of this family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, your mercy, Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Michael Morris Kanotunga, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our holy body after the pattern of his own glorious body to our departed brothers and sisters too, and all who have, we are pleasing to you, and they are passing from this life, give guiding admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes, for seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for the ages, and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Who art in heaven, our kingdom come. 
come. Your will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from them. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of his, your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we are waiting the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of us. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity to your families, to your churches, in according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. who takes away the sins of the world and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should end under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
muda mfupi katika hali ya shukrani na ibada na sala kwake Mwenyezi Mungu za Kristo yempokea katika mafumo matakatifu ya Kristo Mamba wanakoya mtongoze kwa imbo wa shukrani.
remain upstanding for post-communion prayer. Let us pray. May your mercy and merciful kindness which we have implored, O oh Lord, Benefit the soul of your departed servant, Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga, that by these sacrificial gifts he may know the eternal company of Christ in whom he hoped and whom he preached, who reigns, lives and reigns forever and ever. Naomba tuweze kuketi kwa mda mfupi wa hotuba na maelekezo hapa na pale. Kwanza kabisa we welcome Reverend Father Peter Kaiwangogi the Chairman Central Committee for the Cause of Sainthood of the Servant of God Michael Morris Kanotunga for welcome speech and also a few acknowledgments. Father Peter on my right. My left sorry. Tumkaribishe mwenyekiti wa shughuli hizi kwa makofi Padre Peter Kaiwangoge. Your Grace, Philip Agnolo, Metropolitan Archbishop of Nairobi, Your Lordship, David Kamau, Auxiliary Bishop of Nairobi, Your Eminence, John Cardinal Njue, Emeritus Archbishop of Nairobi, Reverend Professor Lawrence Joroge, the Vice Postulator of the Course of the Beatification of Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga, the Servant of God, my brother priests present, and thank you very much for coming. People of God, the family of Mze Sudi, where the Servant of God grew and was founded on faith. Good morning, all of you. I stand here on behalf of the Central Committee that has been appointed uh, to look into the matters and the activities that are uh, on the course, on the process of the beatification of the servant of God, Maurice Cardinal Otunga. And I thank His Grace to have appointed me a few months ago to be the chair of that committee. And since I stand on behalf, I will ask at this moment all the members of the committee present to kindly be upstanding so that we may recognize them. 
most of them standing in front here. Your Grace, this is the team that uh, uh, will be and has been in the activities that uh, you charge us to follow in the course and the process of the beatification of Maurice Cardinal Otunga. Please be seated. Thank you. Our role is not very simple, but it is simple because over and above other things that we have to do, the activities that we have to do that uh, go with this process, we are also asked to pray as a, as, a, as a committee. And indeed, Your Grace, when we meet, we pray. I personally, as Bishop Kamau himself, uh, related on the, uh, the experience that he had in contact with the, he, the servant of God, pride and I'm happy to participate in this committee because I also met him. Some people do not believe that I met him, but I met him. One year into our ordination, uh, uh, the servant of God chose to come and live nearby at the Mjiwa Waze. And when we were ordained by the, uh, His Grace uh, Raphael Dingi Mwananzeki of Happy Memories, I came uh, to Mjiwa Waze to visit him. And I came and he opened the door when I knocked and we had a short chat because he was old and frail. And I told him, I had lived in the seminary looking forward to be ordained by him. But it never came to pass. But I was happy to have met him as a priest. So he told me one statement. I said it uh, re recently on Capuchin TV. And he looked at me and those who know him, he used to gaze at you and told me, young man, work for the people of God, for that is why you are ordained. Now, that statement is that important that uh, it has to be sabotaged somehow. <laughs> young man, work for the people of God, for that is why you are ordained. For me, I am old and frail. My only work, pastoral work left for me to do is to pray. And that was profound for me. And I think, and this is my reflection, as we commemorate 20 years since he left us, I think that pastoral work, praying, for the church, praying for all of us, did not end on the 6th of September 2003 when he rested. That work, that pastoral work continues. He continues praying for us, for the church, for us as the church of Kenya and as the church of the Archdiocese of Nairobi. And for that, therefore, as a committee, as a people of God, we are joined, we are asked to join in that pastoral activity of prayer together with him. While he prays for us, we too pray for the process of his beatification and eventually canonization uh, so that uh, that what we desire as a church in Kenya, as a country, that is gifted in many ways, with many resources, with many people of goodwill, that that process may be seen uh, to term. I am very sure that steadily that is going to be achieved, and for us we seek that you pray with us. And when we ask you to support us in ways that we will need for the purpose of that process, kindly come forward and do it. I want to thank you, all of you, 
particularly for coming today. I thank you for joining us in this worthy course for the church in Kenya. I want to pass the apologies of Father Wallace Nganga, uh, who is part of the committee, uh, who is not present here, for Father David Njao Kemuhu, who passed the information and thank him for broadcasting the information about this day, and for Father Mwaneki Rido, uh, who had to run to an emergence that came up this morning. Thank you all. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Lordship. Thank you, Eminence. Thank you, Brother Priest, and thank you all. Asante Nisana. A hearty round of applause for our chairman. Thank you, Father Peter. At this juncture, I invite a family representative to make a short speech, Mr. George Nabutola. Family representative, Mr. George Nabutola, for a brief speech. God is good, and all the time, the grace, the lordship, and uh, your eminence, I stand before you here, one, to say thank you for assigning a place for the family, that the church recognizes that Odunga came from a family, and he has his people around, who regularly come around during such occasion. Before I proceed, I have to say thank you very much to Father Lawrence, who has always visited us. We've been with him at home in the village, which I will mention soon. Uh, and your grace on the left is some young priest we, we helped mold in Langata. And I was proud to see him here. He was molded under Father Kamumoy. And I'm happy also to see them here. Cardinal Morris Otunga was made a priest in 1950. And he used to come home in a black cassock. The father used to wear a black, a white council, so they wondered whether the Catholic Church was also wearing the black cassock, which later I didn't seem to see. But we had a lot of regard and special regard for him. He had two brothers, one John Nabutola, my father, Another, Peter Nabangi, they saw the, the knife on the same year, 1942. When I say that, traditionally, you know what I mean. They got circumcised the same year. How many of you here have been friends with people for two, three years? They were friends from childhood until God called them. And they remained friends all along. Are we, Shortly after becoming a priest, Otunga, as I refer to him as Papa, was made a bishop around 56. That was hardly even 10 years. Then we got the message, 1956, that they prepared the father, Sudi Namajanja, and the mother, Rose Namisi, who was just Namisi but later baptized Rose to prepare and go to Mugumu, that great things were to happen to the family. February 1957, Cardinal Rotunga became a bishop, and they used to write the first African bishop of Kenya. Those who happened to get across those 
photographs of 1957, 25th February, the first bishop of Kenya. This was a, a lucky person, for within a short while, within 10 years or so, he was a cardinal. Uh, when he, was, he went to Rome, he met some of the priests and bishops who had worked in Kenya. They received him so well that he was a hero to himself. I'm talking about what he told me. Because when he came from Rome, he, came, he sent me seven photographs, many of which are still there. And for some, unfortunately or fortunately, I seem to be the only person having. But you can get them in Resurrection Garden. I made sure they were delivered there. I've sent there about over 20 photographs at the Resurrection Garden. Now, Cardinal Rotunga was a family person. And if he came home, he would ask the mamas to make him a meal, a very simple meal. You know, Louis has take chicken, but he would ask for some smoked meat, if any, and that will do for him. And then he would go to rest. We had a special linen for him in our house. He would rest for an hour or so, maybe on the way to Uganda or on the way from Uganda. So he always called on us. Of course, he had the attachment for his Kibabi Church, Kibabi Mission, where he was baptized in 1937 with the Godfather, one Benedict Watitu. So he always called in. But back to position. When he was sent to Kisi, he made a name in Kisi, but the Kisis haven't believed that he was in the Kisi. When he passed on, your grace, we were organizing, I joined Father Lawrence, Father Dominic Wamgunda in the funeral arrangement. One lady came to me and said, if it was not for this man, I would never have stepped in America. If it was not for this man, I would never have reached the university level. He took me to America, and I worked hard. Here I am. I stay in Karen. You, those of you know where Karen is. So she told me, you come and pick a cow and slaughter for the people coming from Bungoma. I was at her residence by around four or five. We slaughtered one, gave a sumptuous meal to the people, the delegation from Bungoma at the railway club. That was Cardinal Rotunga. Now to the family, he helped some of my cousins who are seated here. He took John, his brother's son, from Nairobi to Musoriot, those of you who know where Musoriot is, is in Kapsabit, in Iska to Musoriot. Father was, talk, Bishop talked about the, the car. It was pictured 204, KMU 123, if I can still recall. And when we went to look for another cousin of mine, here seated, we went to Tokoto. He was debating whether they will accept my sister for admission. So he went in, left me in the car around for something. He was a young man, left me in the car, came out after about 20 minutes with a, a khaki envelope. And he told me this admission for your sister, make sure she comes tomorrow for admission as a, Tokoto was a TTC, and I think it still is, as a teacher. Then he gave me a rosary to pass over to her. Cecilia is here. She can testify that. He also solemnized a number of weddings. Um, my sister is here, 1971 or so. And I was the MC in that one, a young man. I didn't know what an MC is, but I'd managed. He always was close to his people. 
akisikia mtoto ya nduku yake anafanya harusi he always wanted to be there for the catholic he solemnized the marriage funerals he came home to attend when the father was pastor 1971 ali he was in machakos when he got the message he drove throughout the night arriving home in the morning was received by one nabutola and they immediately put in motion the funeral arrangement. They came to Kisumu for the coffin. How it reached Bungoma, Cardinal Rotunga just prayed, but Nabutola organized for transport to Bungoma from Kisumu. So, uh, in Bungoma, particularly where he comes from, the village Tulumba, I said I would mention it, Mateka, the Catholic Church, which was hived off from Bungoma. If you went to any of those churches or the masses, we have recited this prayer that we are reciting here, especially the PMC. Everybody has recited, whether the old mothers in Swahili, whether those who are enlightened a bit like me, we would always we recite, we don't even look at the book. It has been with us. We say, Time Sister Esther, whose name I didn't mention earlier, had asked me to translate it in Luya. I said, you have the Mutila there. Maybe you can work together. But people memorized the prayer so much that we did not want to put it to in Kiluya. So that is Otunga. Cardinali, now if he arrived in Bungoma, what I'm saying is partly what he told me. People would uh, surround his small car and would want a fair home. If there are not many, he would put them in the car, drive them home, and give them what he thought they actually wanted. It was not the lift home, it was the money. So, say so and so, I made so and so. I decided to take her home. I decided to take him home. And one thing, for those who come from Western, if Cardinal Rotunga knew that you are a lawyer, he just spoke Kiluya. And I used to take friends at the residence. They keep putting English, 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 and I had cautioned them. This gentleman does not go to English when he knows you come from Bungoma, particularly Bungoma or Busia. And we have Bahone Kilani in Busia. His grace knows. So, uh, we have been praying hard for St. Wood. We still pray. We had one father, Pius, who really worked on us. And he changed the Kimatuni parish. For him, you must appreciate that and acknowledge that Cardinal Rotunga came from that village. And therefore, pray hard that we, he becomes a saint. And therefore, I also ask the gracious men and women here to pray hard. We keep asking. Yes, Father Lorenzo and Sister Esther. Sasa atakuwa send lini? And I think they are used to that question. Atakuwa send lini? Ata minta waulisa leo. But the issue is, we have to pray hard. We have to pray hard. He liked the family, and he remained with the family. And when he passed on, he was sent to Mata by a member of my family again. I've seen another father who was close to. The gentleman who took Cardinal Otunga to hospital is seated there. You can stand work one. The last trip to hospital, Mata is there. Your Grace, we were used to going to Muji Awaze. We were quite used to going. So when my brother arrived there, 
sister then, a Tanzanian nun, was in a panic situation and was looking for transport. So my brother requested that, requested her to accept that he takes his eminence to Mata Hospital. And he used to go there every morning. People didn't know whether he was a priest, whether he was a what, but by six he would be around there just to see him every day until God called him. And I think the priests you know the better. When he passed on, the word was, Martha made a coffin, but there was a word that we should have a very simple coffin. That was Cardinal Rotunga. What do we do with this coffin? Change it. We need a simple coffin. And where was he buried? Among priests. Your grace, I think that is true. Among priests, take me to St. Austin's when I die. Now, before he came to that, there was a time as I wind up, MC. People came from home. My grandfather, my uncle, Peter Navangi. And we remained also to, before I proceed, how about you stand? This is Peter Nabangi's son. Peter Nabangi was a Sumbi trained teacher. But my father said, leave that and become this work together. See, my father was a chief. The father became assistant chief. So they came to see his eminence. That time he was an archbishop. And he took them out of the compound. You are familiar with the residents. Those who are familiar. He had planted a banana stem. See, when you start a home, you must have a banana stem. The tradition, you must, and Father Maloba is here. Father, <laughs> we worked together during the funeral service. So when the, the uh, president's uh, entourage questioned thing, then he said the church has also got its own protocol and they took his word. Thank you, Father. <laughs> so, then he was asked a question which many of you keep asking. Why was he buried here? Cardinal Rotunga said, asked them, when a girl gets married, where do they bury her when she dies? Where she is married? He said, but I got married to the church. She was in Nairobi for 34 years. 34 years in the archdiocese of Nairobi. So he said, if I pass on, just bury me here. Let the priests and all the spiritual leaders take care of my body. So that was what he, told, what he said. Now as I wind up, I used to enjoy joining the Wazes. In the, at the residence, but he would arrive with a tray of drinks. I noticed a fanda, thinking they would use it for, for the whiskey that is being served, only for him to serve me the fanda. <laughs> when he was here, the little sisters, Muji Awaze, I said, now, if you are not so frail, she would, I, would, uh, I would give you one. You used to give me a soda, but I would give you one. So we all laughed, and he delayed going for mass by half an hour. I'm trying to get back to Bishop Kamau's humility statements on uh, Cardinal. Now, there's just a statement here. When you realize just how beautiful life is, and how privileged you are to be alive, to witness the miracles around you. You will tilt your head back and smile gratefully at the sky and say, thank you, God. Thank you very much, George, for a speech well articulated, spiced with humor. Makofi tena kwa keba na George Kwa utuba ya Kenzuri 
One key person in this whole process is Reverend Professor Father Lawrence Joroge, the vice postulator, postulator Father Kenan Aniambia Hapa Nimtagazaji, of the course of sainthood of the servant of God, Maurice Michael Kano Tunga. Tumkaribishe kwa makofi so that he may explain to us and update us where the course has reached and also give us a guidance. Thank you for the book that you have really written and highlighted many things about the servant of God. Makofi tena kwake, Professor Father Njoroge. Your grace, your lordship, your eminence, the religious men and women present here, the family of the servant of God, the people from the family of Surina Machanja, the Bahone, we see them here. Father Peter Kaigua, who is the chair of the Central Committee, my brothers, my brother priests here, and uh, dear people of God. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati God is good and all the time I am grateful for this opportunity to say a few words very very grateful for being in this mass very grateful because exactly 20 years ago a good and the holy man returned to his heavenly father. A good and holy man lived among us. I have been asked to give an update of the process, and I am going to give a summary, a mutasari, and I cannot afford to be long because the professor who taught me philosophy and also taught me to be a person of Maneno Machache is here and I do not want to fail the exam. Therefore, I am going to go in point form. Over 40 years ago, John Kadnonjue and I, or I, and a few other people here were in the same class, only that he was standing on one side, and many of us were standing on the other. He taught us Presi, he taught us Mutasari, and therefore we are grateful for that. Point number one. Immediately the servant of God passed on, in the year 2003, there were people who wanted him to be pronounced a saint immediately, without a delay. But the Catholic Church has its processes. And therefore, the process did not begin immediately. It officially began in the year 2009. Point number two. In the year 2010, His Eminence John Cardinal Jue filed a petition in Rome, and in the same year, 2010, Maurice Cardinal Tunga was given the title Servant of God. Point number three. The following year, the year 2011, the diocesan phase opened. And in November, September of 2013, the documents were sealed. They were incorporated into what is called the Acts of Inquiry and sent to Rome, where the Roman phase started. Point number four, in the same year, 2013, between October and December, the Acts of Inquiry were evaluated by the dicastery that is competent to carry out that work. 
Point number five, on January 14, 2000, January 14, 2014, the decree of validity validating the diocesan tribu tribunal, the material that had been collected not only from the diocese, but also from all places where the servant of God had worked, that document was issued, the document of validity. Point number six, in the year 2014, the postulator began writing the document known as the positio, which is required for the progress of the process. Point number seven, in the year 2021, on the 26th of April, the official biography was transmitted to Rome and it was acknowledged. Point number eight, and this is the key point here. There has been a communication recently that came from the postulator in Rome, Dr. Walde Hilgeman, and it was sent to the petitioner and to the office of the, that carry conducts the process in Nairobi, saying that the position now is ready and that it will be presented to the dicastery in Rome, to the department in Rome, so that the, for the discernment and uh, so that they may be able to vote for the servant of God to be considered to be promoted to the next level. And as I conclude, we wanted to thank God during this Mass. Thank God because God gave us a good and holy man. And I want to be very grateful to the family of the servant of God because one and a half years ago when I came to Bungoma to collect material for the official biography, George and Flora and the Bahone who are here, members of the clan, you treated me very well. I did not lack for anything Whenever I needed Ugali, it was there. Then Coco was there. I was taken to all the places where I needed. It was a great welcome for which I am very, very grateful. And it is for that reason that we were able to complete the official biography. And God bless you. Thank you. And you followed it up by sending me some tea. My, my fellow ones worked in Kisi near where Flora Nabutola works. And you sent me some tea and therefore it was a very, very good memory also receiving. You followed it up with a gift. You are generous there and you followed up with the gifts. We are very, very grateful. Now it is my pleasure and uh, honor to invite your grace, our Archbishop, Philip Agnolo, who is the petitioner, to come and say a few words. Thank you very much. I, I can see there is some conferring. This is your diocese. You speak from where you wanted to speak. We cannot summon you to any place. You are in your own diocese. Shukrani na mungu abariki he process thank you so my brother bishop david kamau your eminence my brothers in the priesthood sisters and brothers and in a special way, our family, the family of Nautola, I'm so honored to be before you to say a word of thank you for coming on this great day. That is our day 
and we are confirming that we shall continue doing it even in the years to come the way we have done it today and even better. Uh, I want to appreciate the fact that the process of canonization is on course and as the speakers have mentioned here they have mentioned that it is not without us we are also invited into that cause through our prayers and our contributions so I'm happy that even the biggest number of my brothers in the priesthood came and when I met one of them it was Father Kimani who told me this is a great day we are very happy so thank you very much my brothers in the priesthood and we still continue to encourage you plus may all other religions to come in the future to support this cause that is ours that we may be holy uh, Father Bishop mentioned two things that were very much at heart of our cardinal, the family and the priesthood. And that's why I've thanked the priest for being so happy today and coming in a big number. I'm sure he's praying for us. At all costs, he's praying for us. And the family is also, I'm very happy because as I also prayed in preparation of this wonderful day, meditating here and there, I thought I've made much of the family. And I said, this family which gave us his eminent the cardinal must be blessed and be blessed forever from generation to generation. So we focused. <clears throat> and we focused on the family. And today, I said something will happen in the name of the family and the families giving is from the families and you know what happened today when I came and I was told by one priest that there's some family who want to see me here I said who are they eh? but then I said okay we calmed down and I went with the bishop come out and went to meet another family and they wanted to do exactly one thing like the family did uh, this family very simple uh, very unnoticeable they said they have been contemplating in all their lives to give five acres of tea plantation to the church <clears throat> and i counted it also as one of the miracles that we are we are expecting that you came is a miracle all of you that all of us were happy as father mentioned we are also a great we have a great day it's a miracle and that this family also just from nowhere said i give this farm he they did not know we are celebrating this occasion today but said, is that it he said yeah yeah we are celebrating the 20th anniversary or memorial of the cardinal and they were very happy because they gave it for the intention of the evangelization of the cardinal was there at that time and we promise we shall work together. <clears throat> this process that is on began with the Cardinal himself, not with us. That he may be a saint, it began with him. And he showed us the way to help him and to journey together that all of us may be saints. What he began many years ago is not to be accomplished even for us, you know, with us today or in 100 days. It is something that is ongoing. It will not be even in, sometimes in our lifetime because the call is for all of us to be saints. It is our project. It will not be finished in this first, as I said, 5,000 days it is still there it continues so in such a way that as father kaigwa told us it calls for us to continue praying for this cause because he continues praying for us that we may follow the cause that he is also following 
so that where he is, as a saint, all of us may be. As I reflected on that project, I saw so many things that happened around the life of the Cardinal, as mentioned by the family and everybody else. I don't know, Bishop, uh, Father Lawrence Njereke will have to enlighten me because he's a, a historian. Uh, I want to know those Cardinals and those bishops who were there during the Second Vatican Council, how many are now saints? Maybe you can help us to understand so that we, we number him. We number him in that number. But I want to say so because in that Second Vatican Council, in which our Cardinal was so implanted and rooted about the family and the life of a priest and life of religious life, calling, two callings, he started to build a culture of holiness, a culture of holiness. More than ever before during that time in the Second Vatican Council, it was pronounced that we are called to be holy. When the council underlined this idea of universal call to holiness, to a certain extent, it said something very new that in the cardinal had it already and it embraced him in the whole of his life and that is where we are now. It said that all Christians in any state and or any, at, at any work of life, or work of life, are called to be to the fullness of Christians, Christian life and to the perfect love. They are called to holiness. It is this general feeling, it is this general holiness which his eminence desired that we all walk along. He's gone ahead of us so that we may also join that holiness. And for that reason, we are called to pray for him to lead us. As the first, he's always struck the first in many things. He was always the, the first, bishop, as you said, bishop, the first cardinal, the first, first, everything. As the first, as we pray that it will be the saint among the Kenyans, we want to pray that we also, he also opens the way for us as we continue doing what he taught us. Do this in memory of me. It is a holiness which leaves the church to enter into the reality of every human life, into every human life. It will necessarily be a quiet holiness and, and unclaimed for anybody because we all are called to that. That was the life of his name, the cardinal. He invited everybody, went down to the, to the level, lowest level, to, to invite everybody to come to serve him. But it will be also a luminous and transparent point in our life to see that it is possible to be holy as from the matters and things that we live in our life. Through the discreet, humble, but decisive and courageous process that we are undergoing for the Cardinal, it should be also our part to become even holier in that manner. The council where the cardinal was also very much available in contribution says that by this holiness, a more human manner of life is fostered in an earthly society. We are people on earth and we want to live that earthly society in the way he wished that we live. His sainthood has, should have and must have and ought to have an impact on us right from now as we celebrate the anniversary of his death. If we think of the lives of any other saints whom we are most familiar, we see them exactly as the gospel describes, the poor in spirit, the meek and the humble, the thirsting for the for justice, the merciful and pure of heart, the peacemakers were persecuted. What did his eminence lack in that aspect? Has it been discussed here? That is what described in the, in the Gospels. 
And for this reason, all of us and all of those saints call them St. Francis of Assisi, St. Catherine of Siena, St. Ambrose, St. Charles Borromeo, St. Vincent de Paul. All of them, the life was shaped by the way, the example that Cardinal also lived for us. Let us imitate him as we pray for his canonization. Let us imitate his ideals as we pray for his canonization. And that's why I've insisted again to say his process, this process to his sainthood is an invitation of us all as by his desire, as by his work, as by his mission also to, be, to strive towards sainthood. Let us participate it at the family level, at the community level, at every, every other level that we shall find ourselves in so participating to promote him to that sainthood through which he will also promote, him, promote us to be together with him in that sainthood. The spirit that is new also and very new much as it's an old tradition of the church but very new in our faith in the church in Kenya. Let us embrace it with our hearts. Embrace it as a personal process. Embrace it as a process of the family. Embrace it as a process even in our priesthood and in everything that we do. Therefore, to summarize, I want to encourage you these two things very clearly. And it's been said already by Father Lawrence and others. The press is on. It will need our spiritual contribution. A spiritual contribution that is so genuine and so true that brings us also to where his eminence was to pass through his paths. And second, the spirit that we want to support the process of organization. Where it has reached, we shall need a lot of support, material support from each one of you. From each one of you. Not only us who are here, but we are going to open it even out to all Kenyans and all people of goodwill that we may do what God is calling us to do. Again and again, I say again, this is for us. This is for us. A call to holiness. He invites us as he goes into the holiness himself, as he's being canonized, he invites us to journey together on that path. And that's why I insist again, it is now as we start today again, let us make it a culture of call to holiness in everywhere that we are going to. I want to encourage that prayer that we have said again, that it be done personally, even individuals, and be done in our prayer places and be done also to be said even during the masses starting from our archdiocese of Nairobi. So with this, I want again to appreciate very much your coming and to appreciate your contribution and count on it that you are very contribution that you journey together to him, with him towards sainthood is the best gift that you can give him that we be holy as God called us to be holy, as his eminence, the Cardinal Otunga, walked the path of holiness, the way God him to call him to be holy. We shall, our prayers will win in that manner. So may God bless you. I wish you a safe journey back to your destinations and continue praying for the church, continue praying for the canonization of the church, that the process may go on successfully and with a lot of fruit I had a round of applause for his grace. Asante kwa ujumbe wako mahususi kwa ajili ya shughuli na hafla ya leo. Kwa ruksa hii nimulipe nafasi niwape matangazo matatu kwanza. Nazidi kwa mshukuru Father Jude kwa kutupa nafasi ngawaje tukwa tumepanga kuingine lakini tukaomba tuje hapa. Kuna apostles asanteni uzidi kubarikiwa pamoja na timu yako na mapade ambao wanafanya kazi hapa. Pili ni washukuru 
wanakwaya kutoka DSP Mweki wakiwa pamoja na Father Bernard Dishu na Mwana Huku pamoja na Father James Kinodia na pia mapadre wote kwa kuleta wa Kristu kwa shughuli hii ya leo pamoja na Thaji Kotim Father Bernard Kafio e, na Peter Ken hapa tuwapigie makofi wote wanakwaya na wa Kristu wote Tatu na mwisho ni kwamba kwa ajili ya kamati ya andalizi na pamoja na mwashamba baskofu mkuu sote tumealikwa kwa chakula cha mchana chakula hiki kitaandaliwa kwa hall ambayo iko chini ya kanisa hili utapata nafasi ya kuteremka downstairs e, kuna chakula kimeandaliwa kwa kwetu chakula cha cha mchana tushiriki pia ukarimu ambao walithibitisha mwadhama kardinali utunga na mwisho pia padri mapadri na all the religious tutakutana kwa father's residence kwa chakula cha mchana. Kwa hivyo sasa niombe tuweze kusema masote tumwombe mwashamba baskofu mkuu atupe baraka ya kumaliza ibada. We shall bless you all the three of us will bless you all after the prayers let us bow our heads and receive god's blessings and the lord be with you may the god of all consolation bless you for in his unfathomable goodness he created the human race and in the resurrection of his only begotten son he has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins and to all the dead a place of light and peace. Amen. So may we who live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead, rise again with him. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord. Our Eucharistic celebration is added.